Hi everyone, I'm Sophie. I'm Michelle. And today we're going to be doing a 10 minute abs workout. And so abs are a really great way to warm up before going to the gym or an exercise class. And it's also like a nice thing to do if you're studying and you're having trouble focusing. A quick 10 minute abs workout is a great way to refocus and get back to work. All right, so let's get started. We're gonna start out 30 seconds plank. And you wanna make sure to keep your butt low and your back straight. While we're in the same position, it's a really good time to work on your alignment. And really try to keep a straight back here. Great job, everyone. 10 seconds left. After this, we're gonna do plank to push up. Five, four, three, two, one. Push up. Really put your hands when you, where your elbows are when you go up. Because you don't want this to be just an exercise of bending your elbows over and over. Really make sure you're keeping your line straight, your back in a straight line. And 10 seconds left. Five, four, three, two, one. Now get onto your back and we're gonna do 30 seconds crunches. What are some of your favorite exercises? Well, growing up, I did ballet really seriously, so I did that a lot. And then here at Stanford, I've been going to a hot yoga studio called Turbo 26 Studios at the Stanford Shopping Center, and that's been really nice. So right now, that's my main point of exercise. Nice. All How right. You? We're going to do flutter kick now, okay? Um, I like running. Yeah, um, I don't really find that much time to do it. It feels like you do it all the half marathons. Yeah, I like half marathons. <laughs> yeah, I think that was like more time. Well, actually, it's just like more access. Okay. Alright, five, four, three, two, one. Now flutter kick. And make sure to keep your toes pointed. And really make sure that you're breathing while you're doing this. And so if you have a friend with you, having a conversation together might be helpful because that makes sure that you're breathing properly if you can talk. Yeah. Alright, and five seconds left. Five, four, three, two, one. Alright, and now Russian twist. Try to keep your feet off the ground for an extra challenge. All right, great job, guys. Keep it up. We're almost done. And ten, se ten seconds left. And five, four, three, two, one. Last exercise, high point. And now that we're all warmed up and in a moment of stillness again, really work on your alignment here. Alright, 10 seconds left. Three, two, one. Great job, guys. You're done with the first four minutes. So since we're working on the abs, you really want to make sure you're stretching out your back. So go ahead and just bend back a little bit. You can also do this one by cactus your arms and then reach your back. You do not want to sink into your lower back, so really just work on stretching out your shoulders and upper back here. You can also go to the side and other side. A few twists. And now let's go to the next exercises. Okay, so now that we've taken our 30 second stretching break, now we're gonna get into the second set of four minutes of ab exercises. So let's go. Start getting ready for some basic crunches to begin. If you have your hands behind your head, make sure that you don't put your elbows together like this. Really keep your elbows nice and wide, and so that way you're not crunching your neck. Four, three, two, one, 
and now go side, center, side, center, or double it out. This will really help target the side ab muscles. And come into a B set. You can have your leg as high or low as you want, and you can have your arms up or behind your head, whichever one you prefer. You really just want to make sure that you have your legs straight as you can, and keep your back as straight as you can. Five, four, three, two, one. Press your legs and come into a plank position, and run it out, mountain climbers. Really try to keep your back straight, straight in line with your legs. You don't want to have your, your torso coming up in the air higher than your legs. You really try to keep everything in one long line. That will really help get a deep breath, deep workout of the exercise. Keep going. You can go as fast or slow as you need to, just don't keep a break. Almost there. Three, two, one. And go to downward dog. So you're in an upside down B position. Really try to keep a straight back here. Don't sink into your elbows or your shoulders. Next comes the most fun part. It's also the craziest part. So just follow along and do your best. Raise your right leg into the sky. Hold. Bring your knee across to your left elbow. And back up. Hold. Now bring it to your outside to your right elbow. Hold. And back up in the air. Hold. If you want an extra challenge, you can lift your left arm and your right leg and then go back up. Then we're going to your outside elbow. We're going to focus. Keep going. Either version is works. Michelle's demonstrating the other version. So whatever one looks better to you. Just just keep going. One more time. Hold. And back up. Hold. Last time on this side. Bring your leg back down. Reset to this position. Really make sure you're in a good upside down B position. And then start lifting your left leg. Hold. Bring it across to your right elbow. Pull. Back up. Pull. Outside elbow. Pull. Up. Pull. And don't forget, this is the other variation you can do. Pull. You're almost done. One last one to the other side. Hold. One here. And that's it. We finished our four minute ab exercise part two. And for a total of eight minutes and some stretches in between. So that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit the bell for notifications. Ding! Ding. And we'll see you next time. Bye! Bye.